Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're going to talk about the Goals and Outcomes page. So first, let's navigate to the Goals and Outcomes page. So we'll just make sure we go back. And if we don't have any, um, if we have unsaved changes, we want to make sure we update those first. Okay, and now we can go ahead and go back. So, go ahead and um, click on Pages, and we're going to go to the Goals and Outcomes page here. So on your Goals and Outcomes page, you want a list of um, three short-term goals. So you'll just type short-term goals. And then underneath, like I said, you want to list three different short-term goals. So that can be a financial goal. So, for example, like save, like, I don't know, maybe $150 per month, for example. You can have educational goals. Um, and you can do a combination of these things. You can do one of each. And then you can have a health and wellness goal. So as long as you have three, you're good. Then we're going to move on and we're going to do a set of long-term goals. So in this list, you can do something like a personal goal. Something like start a family. Uh, you can have a career goal. And finally, you can just have a life goal. Um, some kind of goal that you've had all your life, like um, traveling to Europe or something. So, different things like that. So, as long as you have your three goals, you can move on to the next part. And for this part, we're going to need to click on this dot 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 button here. And we're going to put a horizontal line down there. So we have a line to separate our goals from our learning outcomes. So now what we want to do is uh, we want to type in SLCC and then learning outcomes. And underneath we're going to put the learning outcomes. So the learning outcomes you can find at slcc.edu. So the best way to go find it is to go to the AZ index. Go to the E for ePortfolio, so you'll have to scroll down a little bit, click on ePortfolio, and then you can grab it from the student support site. And it's right over here where it says Learning Outcomes, and you'll just highlight from this point where it says Students Communicate Effectively, all the way down to a sense of well being right there. And you'll want to right click and copy, then you'll go back to um, our learning outcomes page here and you'll just paste those learning outcomes down there. Sometimes it may look a little bit differently but you can always just highlight that and then change it so it's the same. So if you want to change that go feel free to do so. If not just you can leave it alone if you want. Um, this is a very important part of the page. We use this part for assessments and so what you want to do is go through each of these learning outcomes and figure out which classes fit where. So, for example, you'll read through this and ask yourself which classes helped you to communicate more effectively. And what classes did you learn to read, write, speak, listen, um, do visual understanding? So that could be like an art class here. Um, if you organized and presented ideas, so if you did any presentations, whether that's visual, oral, or in writing. Um, or even if you worked in interpersonal small groups or um, mass settings. So. If anything fits that category, uh, what you want to do is just, uh, sometimes bullets will work. If they don't, just put a dash and then list your class underneath. So I'm going to type in example 1010. So I'm going to pretend that my example 1010 class fits this category. So what I'm going to do is list it here. And then if I um, copy this, I can figure out where else it was. So for example, if it was here, I'll put that here. Um, if my example 2010 fits here, I'll put my example 2010 there. So wherever you list the classes that you, um, and they don't have to be just the ones that you made a page for, they can be like another um, page if you want it to. Um, you can continue to uh, type class here. So example, uh, maybe you did like a 1220 or something like that. But this one didn't have a page and this one does. You want to link the ones that have pages, so you just highlight and you click on this bin that looks like a chain link and 
instead of URL or link test text, you'll just want to click on example 1010, so whichever one it made, um, matches, and you add link. So that should match, and it should turn blue. Like I said, we're not going to uh, hyperlink this one because this one doesn't have a page. This one goes to example 1010, so we're going to hyperlink this one. We're going to add link, and this one will be the 2010. Add link, and we'll just say we're done here. Make sure that you go and change your headings. So what we're going to do is highlight short-term goals and change that to heading 2. You can choose a different heading type if you want, but I think 2 looks fine. So I'm going to use 2. And we just want that for our titles. And the very last thing we want to do is just click on update. Once I see this green bar across the page, that means I'm good to go.